Alrighty, folks, so um, I'm just a college student who happens to be obsessed with fishing, and um, I'm of the uh, tech-savvy generation, if you will, and in this video I'm just going to show you some of my techniques that I use for finding uh, new fishing spots. I'm sure I've found lots of people's secret spots over the world. There's a lot of information out there on the internet. This is going to be a pretty long video just looking at um, the list I got here. I got about 10 things, and I'm going to want to spend probably close to 10 minutes on each one. So um, bear with me, but I do encourage you to watch the whole video because there's a lot that I think um, you will learn. And uh, even if you know some of the stuff, I'm sure there's going to be stuff um, in this video that you will learn. And uh, a lot of this can be applied to other things too, not just fishing, um, you know, be it hunting, geocaching, whatever. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And I do live in New York State, so this is going to be mostly directed towards if you also live in New York State, but again, most of this can be applied to um, pretty much anywhere. So I'm assuming you all know how to use Google Maps. I'm not going to bore you too much with this. I'm just going to go through this really quickly. I do like to have a Google Maps window open whenever I'm looking for a new fishing spot. I just find that it's got the most consistent and up-to-date maps, and uh, things like uh, this little guy here is very useful take him and uh, put him anywhere and uh, that way you know you get a pretty good idea of if a uh, road goes by a fishing spot you get an idea of it and um, also just even entrances to boat launches and whatnot gives you a pretty good idea uh, train map is also very um, oops. I think oh we gotta switch to this map the train map is also very helpful for um, finding streams and identifying them and knowing what kind of landscape you're going to be looking at. And as you can see, as you zoom in, it'll tell you the names of streams and rivers and stuff. The same thing, Navigating River again there. And uh, so that's useful. Now, um, another thing that I'm going to show you, which uh, this is where things get a little bit more interesting, is uh, GIS. Pretty much every county has this GIS software avail available, and uh, it's very, very useful. And the way to find it, the easiest way to find it is just type in the name of your county. Um, for example, I currently live in Cattaraugus County. Uh, let's see, uh, Cattaraugus County GIS. See, it pops up. Um, very useful software. And on some websites, it's more difficult to find than others. Uh, let's see. How do we get started here? This is just directions on how to use it. Um, no, this is not what we want to do. I think that's what we want to get to. There we go. All right, here we go. And again, pretty much every county has this, and it's just very, very useful. Um, And here we are. And again, we can switch to image review. And uh, here's where this gets very, very helpful. Let's see, again, every single one's a little bit different, so you got to look around a little bit. And it's not the right thing. We get to view different parcels. Here we go. No, that's what we want either. Hold up, folks. I've got to refresh my own memory on these things. Here we go. Okay, get rid of this window. Parks. This uh, software isn't really technically for sportsmen, but um, it's definitely useful to uh, for us. Let's see. Parcel labels. There we go. There we go. And that's where it gets very... Uh, useful. This actually gives you, as you can see, it shows you the different properties and uh, exactly where property lines end and whatnot. And it tells you exactly who owns it and even gives their address. So this is useful to know, you know, first of all, what's public property, what's not, where public property ends. And it also gives you um, the owner of 
a property and their information to contact them. So, you know, if you see a place with a lake or a stream on it, um, it's very easy to figure out, you know, who you need to contact for permission to fish it or hunt it or whatever. And uh, so it's very, very useful information. You can see this is owned by the city of Salamanca. That's good to know. Um, do realize, though, just a disclaimer that not every property that's publicly owned is open for fishing or hunting or, you know, trespassing, whatever. It's always best to get permission, um, especially places that are owned by the city or whatever. Um, just, you know, swing an email to the city council or whatever, and um, you can get information fairly easily. Um, whether or not you're allowed to fish there, uh, I actually got a permit to one property that was um, posted that was owned by the Jamestown BPU, and um, I sent them an email and uh, they said, yeah, sure, you can fish there, and gave me a little permission slip, so uh, you never know, and um, yeah, don't abuse the software, because obviously you want it to be um, open for our use, but uh, very valuable stuff, so that's GIS, and that's any county. Uh, like I said, some counties are harder to find than others. I know Franklin County is where I go. It's college, and I remember that one was difficult to find, so um, I'll just type it in just to show you that some of them are a little bit tricky, tricky here to uh, find. Franklin County GIS. That actually wasn't too difficult to find. <laughs> I'm yet to find a county that doesn't have a GIS software available, so um, this actually isn't the Franklin County I go to college for. <laughs> it's Franklin County, North Carolina. But anyway, just to show you other states besides just New York. Okay, so let's try again here. We want Franklin County, New York GIS. Franklin County, New York GIS. And uh, just to show you that it can be difficult to uh, find on some of these, um, yeah, like it's not on here. The first thing that pops up, I eventually found it going to here. And uh, I'll click here for public access, just to show you that sometimes you gotta really dig deep. But uh, pretty much every county has this area, and then click there for a series of steps. But eventually, here we go. And uh, Here's our software giving us informa property information and all that fun stuff. So, very useful. Every county has it. I'm yet to find a county that does not have this software available, and that's very useful. So, next I'm going to show you state agencies are usually really, really good for putting out um, information on recreation um, on their public lands, especially the New York State DEC is very good at this. So, we'll just type it in whatever it is in your uh, state, DEP or whatever. Um, again, here's where we get into things. Those are going to be more helpful, obviously, if you live in the state of New York. Click their website, and then we want to go to the fishing link, which is right here. It's not up because I go there quite often. <coughs> All right. So uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the stocking reports, which is very, very helpful. Um, here we go, spring stocking list. And uh, this is very, very helpful. It tells you, gives you a full list of exactly what waters are stocked with what. Um, obviously, this is helpful to know exactly uh, where these waters are and what you're going to find in them, what type of trout are in them. And this is available pretty much every state. Again, does this have their stocking reports available online. And uh, this is just my county, Cattaraugus, but you can see you got the same for every county in the state. Uh, tells you, you know, the brooks, ponds, lakes, very useful information. Um, now I'm going to show you back to this. Go back, all right, here we are. The places to fish tab. This is very useful information as well. Um, let's see, I live in western New York, so we'll click there. And, uh, this is very useful. It gives us a list of every single um, lake and pond yeah, that's um, 
accessible to fishing by the state. Well, not, not every single one, but most of them. And you can see you can click on it, gives you a description of the place, um, tells you exactly what's in there. Uh, it's not always 100% accurate, but um, it's pretty accurate. It at least gives you an idea of the main things that people fish for. And uh, you can even get a contour map of the lake, which is very, very useful. And it shows you approximately where the boat launch is. So this is very useful information. Uh, again, see it tells you the fish species that are present. Again, it's not 100% accurate. Uh, a lot of times there are a few more species that aren't included in that list that are in the lake. I can even think of a few rare occasions, some of the lakes in the Adirondacks, where um, it says that there's a species in there that wasn't in there. Some of these lakes that I think used to be stocked with lake trout and whatnot, but aren't anymore. But uh, anyway, as you can see, um, lots of very valuable information. Um, and again, this is every lake in the county, every that has a state-owned boat launch on it. Um, useful stuff. Also, the trout section here is also very useful. Uh, you can see trout fishing. Uh, this is actually it's not as useful. Uh, what we want is, um, yeah, we have these links here, very useful. It tells you uh, each creek, exactly where it's stocked, the public access. As you can see, a lot of these are just open by owners, so uh, that gets difficult sometimes when there's not actually um, state-owned public fishing rights on a property. It's hard to know where to fish and where not to. That's where sometimes it's best to call the hatchery and ask exactly where they stock it. But, um, you know, if it's stocked by uh, public funds, it's got to be open to fishing somewhere. And uh, some of these streams, click on them, and it gives you uh, much more information on it. it. tells you, you know, the species that it's stocked with. And uh, it'll even give you a map of the places where the public fishing rights is. So this is the map of the whole area. And... This here is uh, the section of this area that is open to public fishing. And um, as you can see here, it tells you where the parking area is. All this is open to fishing, as well as this here. Um, those little sections have public fishing rights. Um, basically, you know, the person opens their property to public fishing, and the state gives them money, and uh, it works out. And uh, here we go, streams, and yeah, this is just every single county in western New York. Um, very valuable information here. Uh, also, uh, wild trout streams, this is information um, useful as well. Same thing, only these are streams that have wild trout in them as opposed to streams that are stocked. And same thing, some of them you can click on them and get more detailed information of exactly where you're allowed to fish. You can see this stream's got a lot of uh, public fishing available. Is Wiscoy Creek. I've never actually fished Wiscoy Creek. I've heard a lot of good things about it, though. Um, very valuable stuff. See, it even tells you the recent DEC surveys estimate an impressive 1,000 trout, 1,100 adult wild brown trout per stream mile. So that's um, useful information, too. It gives you an idea of how many trout are in each stream. Um, let's see, this, yeah, we're back to wild streams. Uh, so this is all useful information. Again, Again, this isn't 100% accurate. I can name a few streams in uh, Chautauqua County that are not on this list that probably should be. But um, again, they're streams that are you need owner permission to fish. So it's not 100% accurate, but uh, definitely gives you useful information. Every stream that's listed on here is going to have wild trout in it. Um, steelhead streams is also the same thing. And you can see each of these, pretty much you can click on them. And it gives you all this stuff, what it's, you know, the species you can expect, expect uh, the regulations, and uh, maps as well. So, again, very useful information. Um, shows public lands or valley. Very useful stuff. And steelhead streams. So, you get the idea here. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Ice fishing. Uh, yeah, again, this is pretty useful stuff as well. Uh, you can get a contour map of each lake that's open to ice fishing and an idea of uh, what you're going to catch there. Useful information. I think we actually looked at that contour map earlier. Uh, and it even gives you, lets you know the regulations looks like.
today, but the link that gives you uh, regulations for each place. So very useful information again. We're now going to move on to, uh, let's see, fishing hotlines. Oh, that's some useful information as well. I'll we'll go back to fishing. Let's see, where's fishing hotlines? Yes, this is useful information I find. You can call to get the information. I've never actually done that. I don't know exactly how that works, but uh, it's very useful just clicking on these and uh, gives you up-to-date information. You can see ice fishing season now. Um, lets you know what they've been catching recently. Very useful up-to-date information. Um, so, yeah, Western New York Fishing Hotline. Useful stuff. All right, now we're going to move on to... Uh, we'll skip that one for sake of time. All right, we're going to move off of the fishing section now. Uh, this gets kind of confusing. All right, so I paused the video to find it. Again, these things are difficult to uh, find on this website sometimes. Uh, and I've got them all in my favorites, so we're going to go to Outdoor Activities and then Places to Go. Here's the key. And then, again, we click on our region. I'm just keep sticking with Region 9. And this is very useful. It gives us a whole list of every single state forest um, as well as wildlife management unit um, by each county. And uh, this is useful stuff. You can click on it, uh, it'll give us information. See, here we got fishing. Um, it talks about, I think we've already dealt with the Allen Lake, but uh, the Allen Lake fishing access site that is within the Allen Lake State Forest and uh, gives you information there, access to people with disabilities, even gives you pictures, gives you an idea of what you're going to be looking at. Um, and again, you can click on here the wildlife management area. Um, and different states are called different things. In Pennsylvania, I know they're called state game lands. Uh, here you can see the swamp and this management unit. Uh, I don't see where it says anything about fishing, but I think it does have fishing on the list of things that you can do here. And uh, again, you can get maps. Let's see, where's. Here we go. We actually got a map of the whole area. And. Uh, parking areas, everything you need to know, and uh, that link is on every single one of these for each county. Um, again, just very useful stuff. Another map, boom, there's Hardwood Lake. This is another great way to find fishing areas, even some of these smaller ones. Um, Canada Way Creek Wildlife Management Area, see fishing's on the list. Doesn't have a whole lot of information about it, but um, there's these wildlife ponds on this unit. As in many state forests, and um, a lot of times these little wildlife ponds they can be some of the best places to catch big bass. So I just know from experience this wildlife management unit here. There's some ponds on here that hold uh, some just huge bass. Yeah, I see. You can see these little tiny ponds. Um, believe it or not, they hold some nice fish. And uh, so check these places out, especially if you live nearby. We just moved uh, right near the uh, there's Cattaraugus County. Aqua called Windfall Creek Wildlife Management Area, I believe. Windfall Creek State Forest. And again, um, you know, there's a picture of the ponds there. These little ponds hold some nice bass in them too. Um, and uh, let's see, yeah, there's a good picture. There's the map. Useful stuff. There's the parking area. There's the ponds. Looks like there might. Well, those ponds don't look like they're really part of the unit. There's also a creek that goes through there. All useful information. So that's places. What's it called again? Um, places to go, I'm going to look at. And again, for each section of the county, you get the uh, same thing. Marsh Pond State Forest, sounds like there's a place to fish there somewhere. Actually, it doesn't say much about fishing on here, but you never know. Okay, next we are going to look at um, the State Lands Interactive Mapper. There's a couple different ways to get to that. You can just search for Slim. This is the marvelous software. Again, uh, similar to uh, what I've already showed you with GIS, this just highlights areas owned by the state. Um, as much as I hate New York State and their government, I do got to give them credit where credit is due. And uh, this software is very, very helpful. For again, not just fishermen, anybody. Welcome to Slim, enter, and there we have it. Any, uh, any land that's owned by the state shows up in green. Uh, again, you can get imagery. 
and a pretty good map too that they have. Very useful. And then as you zoom in, these little green things get this building is the place to fish right there. Is an island lake again we're looking at. Very useful. It shows uh, hiking trails and biking trails and horseback riding trails. These are all layers that you can turn on and off. Um, one layer I want to throw on here is a mic management unit. I don't know why that one's not defaulted, but um, that pretty much covers all state land. Um, so, zoom out. And now, wildlife management units also show up. Also, just to uh, show you uh, here, you can see right here there's a public fishing stream. Uh, the public fishing rights maps that I showed you earlier. Uh, it's even more valuable to look at public fishing rights on here because um, it lights right up. Uh, it gives you a better idea of the landscape. I'm not sure what stream that is. You can kind of see there it says Ishua Creek. You can click on it and it gives you information. And public fishing rights on Ishua Creek. And you know you can Google search Ishua Creek and find all the information there. Okay, so uh, my little recording ran out there, but um, so again we got Ishua Creek and uh, typed it into Google, and you can see the first thing that pops up is public fishing information for Ishua Creek. So useful stuff once again. Now um, I'll show you real quick. Back to DEC website now. Um, oops. A lot of other useful uh, mapping information available if you have Google Earth. Um, I'm not going to get into. Here we go. Google Maps and Google Earth. Yeah, there's a lot of great stuff on here. It looks like they've even added stuff since I've been on here lately. Uh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, yeah, this is very useful stuff here too. These recreational maps, you can download them. And um, some of them you don't even need to download. Google Earth, uh, boat launch sites. This is useful boat launch sites pop up. So here you got all the places. Again, these are just state owned areas. They're not. Um, gives you information for each boat launch. And you can see, you know, again, exactly how to get there. Get directions with Google Maps, and assuming you guys know how to do that. Um, yeah, there we go. Wallabian Lake, unimproved trailer launch. Very valuable stuff. Um, and then there's even more stuff. Oops. Even better fishing information if you actually have Google Earth uh, and download it. Uh, I'm not sure where the fishing one is, but it's on here somewhere. And again, it's besides just fishing, any you know bird conservation areas. If you're in bird watching, again, cross country skiing, horseback riding, there's maps for all of these. Here we go, the lake contour maps. That was the other one that I was going to show you. Actually, I don't, I don't even think I need to uh, get into Google, Google Earth. That gets. Uh, I'll just keep the basics. Um, I do encourage you to get Google Earth, though. It's it's valuable stuff. There we go. So it's pretty much the same thing. And you can click on the lake and get the contour map. So again, that just pops up. Every single lake lights up. Oh, the Quaker Lake didn't light up for some reason. This is not every software is perfect. There's a map of Chautauqua Lake. And again, this tells you the species that's in there. Useful stuff. So um, now, again, not everything, not all of the information the DEC has, not all of the fishing areas are owned by uh, the state. So um, next I'm going to show you how to find county information. Alright, so we're going to try this again. We're going to type in Cataragas County Tourism. Keywords are like, yeah, tourism, recreation, fishing, whatever. Um, look here. This is the uh, Cataraugus County Tourism website. And click on Activities, scroll down to Fishing, and again, this is all very information, very useful information here. Uh, information on fishing licenses. 
downloads for fishing, travel guides, all the stuff you need to know. The special regulations, it's got a bunch of links to different things. Uh, most of these are places that I've already sort of showed you, um, links to deep sea stuff, but um, useful information. And again, these county websites are where you can really find um, stuff for uh, public parks and other things. Chautauqua County. Uh, let's see what we can find from here. Visitors Bureau, maybe that's what we wanted. Yeah, we want Visitors Bureau. Here we go, and now let's see what to do. Let's see if we can find anything about fishing. Attractions, events. I'm typing it in here. Yeah, so it gives you places um, to go where fishing can be done. Different fishing charters and whatnot, different parks. Uh, let's see, somewhere I think there's a list where you can get um, a list of every single park. In any event, I mean, just this is very useful information. I mean, you can see these are all county parks. Um, this even gives you a uh, satellite picture of it. Tells you there's a public boat launch there. Um, you know, obviously useful stuff. Uh, great location for fishing from shore. There you go. And I'm guessing, yeah, pretty much all these parks that are going to pop up here. Again, place for fishing. Uh, gives you a map of where it is. These are all county parks and town parks. Uh, well, some of them are still state parks, but, um, you know, expands the horizons from just the state website for sure. Uh, again, different places to get fishing charters fishing guides that are available. Very useful stuff. Um, again, there's, uh, let's see if we can get this boating and kayaking information too. A lot of times crosses over to uh, places to potentially launch for fishing, fishing spots. Um, let's do where to play. Maybe that's what we want. Here we go. Here we go. That's what. See, then we got the regulations, all the stuff, all the boat launches in Chautauqua County. I've already seen some of the stuff. That's what we really wanted to look for. That's what I was looking for before. Um, very useful stuff. Uh, let's see. Trails. Where to play. Trails and parks, here we go. Again, this is useful stuff here. This is a park that didn't show up on any of the fishing stuff, but um, clearly you can fish there. Um, see, yeah, some place with a canoe launch. Anywhere where there's a canoe launch, you can fish pretty much. That looks like a place you can fish for sure. Click on there for more detail. Yeah, I see fishing's on the list. This is a very useful thing. Um, even some of these trails, some way there's a, at least the information on the kayaking trail. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you, and I actually saw a link to it. Where was it? Sort of how to find these things is these links. A keyword to look, type into Google, is watershed. Um, you know, this brings us to Facebook, which may help us. A website, there we go. I'm not even sure if this is one that I've looked at. But a lot of times, um, these places with these watershed preserves, there's these organizations for each county pretty much, and um, they have uh, land that they allow you to fish on, and uh, it's very useful stuff. I don't see where it says anything about the preserves, recreation. Education, here we go. 
yeah, here we go. I was talking about the uh, that trail. Actually, I was trying to look for it before. Yeah, this Conewango Creek Waterway Trail is um, very useful. Every single one of these launch sites on this brochure, whoa, we zoomed in way more than I thought, so. Um, every single one of these sites where you can launch a canoe is a little bit of public land. You can also fish from shore and obviously launch a canoe or kayak <coughs> and um, fish the river. So. If they have valuable information on these little brochures and stuff. And watershed is a key word. I showed you the Conowango watershed website. There's useful information there. And a lot of these watershed websites, um, there's useful information. I'll type in again, uh, Clark County is where I used to live. Um, I can't really spell it right. In any event, oops, we're not Chautauqua County. Water shed, there we go. And um, again, here we go. Preserves, uh, our preserves. It gives you information to where each of these um, watershed preserves are. And uh, we can get yeah, visiting our preserves. Here's the rules. Um, you can see most, but not all, of our preserves are open to public year round passive recreational activities. Activities during daylight hours include hiking, fishing, bird watching, nature study, yada yada yada. Again, this is um, other recreational activities too. This can apply for, and um, here's the rules. Um, yeah, useful stuff. And uh, here's each of these preserves. Some of my favorite fishing spots are actually on some of these uh, watershed preserves. And again, in every county has watershed preserves usually. Finding information about them uh, can be difficult, but you know the right things to search, and uh, you can usually find it with Google. And uh, again, you just type into these places um, located near Bloom Road in Stockton, and this is where it's helpful to have the Google Maps window open. Type this in, type in New York we want, and then you know it's not going to show up exactly, but you know following this, eventually I find approximately where the preserve is. Again, I go close to our thing with GIS so you can see exactly where the property is with that uh, GIS software that I showed you earlier. You can see, you know, whatever is owned by the Chautauqua County Watershed Conservancy is the public land that you're allowed to fish. So, useful stuff. You can see how, um, you know, you've got to use multiple things, multiple different websites at once, multiple different techniques at once sometimes to find um, exactly where the fishing spot is. Um, now, uh, we're nearing the end of my list of things to cover. Um, lastly, I just want to cover um, ice shanty. I don't know where I would be without ice shanty. Oh my goodness. This website is incredibly useful. I encourage you to join it. Uh, there's other websites like it. Ice shanty is one of the more popular ones um, that pretty much everybody uses. Um, Type in or go to community and uh, you know click on your state basically. Um, you can even surf this. You don't need to be a member to sur surf the main boards. Uh, let's see, maybe New York, Nebraska, New Jersey, New York. Some states more people are on this website than others. In New York, fortunately, we have lots of people that utilize Ice Shanty, which is very useful. Um, I think the main board, Ice Fishing New York. Uh, you can view without even having an account. Um, reports and conditions, I don't believe uh, you can view if you don't have an account. But I encourage you to get an account. Um, it's good to, to, to give back as well as taking information. Don't be one of those people that just sits here and takes, takes, takes without giving a little back. Um, you know, uh, you've got discussions on everything, but also talk about specific um, you know, talks about specific fishing places, and uh, you know, you can post on here asking questions if you're going to be in an area, you know, where should I fish, what should I do, and people will give you information. Some guys will tell you everything, depending on your situation. Some guys, even I, will um, personally message people, PM people. Um, I'll even give away my secret spots. I mean, again, depending on their situation. Um, some guys just post their secret spots publicly. They don't care. Um, you know, so it all just completely 
depends, but there's a lot of useful information to get by talking to other fishermen, and this is the perfect platform to do this. This is more specific to ice fishing. There's also myfishfinder.com. Uh, you know, there's a link to it from Ice Shanty. It's run by the same people. Not as many people on my fish finder, but again, you got the same thing. Um, forum. Very useful information. Uh, northeast, you know, here we go in New York. I'm not sure you're not signed in at the moment, but um, yeah, here we go. We got you know people talking about different lakes and whatnot. You can post questions on here. Very, very useful just to talk to other fishermen. And uh, you can sell fishing equipment, get your views on fishing equipment. I love this website. I use it all the time. Again, I encourage you to join the community. Um, very, very great community to join. Uh, great group of people that use this website. It's especially useful for, for ice fishing because this way you know, um, you know, you, you don't want to drive an hour only to find that the ice is not safe. Um, you know, using these, once you join the community, and you can get the boards on, you know, the, the reports and conditions um, that, you know, you know ahead of time before you go there whether or not the ice is safe. And uh, that's just so valuable. And, again, you know, I give a little, take a little, you know, the lakes that are right down the road from me. I post, I keep up to date on those lakes and keep everyone else up to date posting on the website. While, you know, the lake's an hour away. I have other people, you know, letting me know what the conditions are. So it's really just a great system the way it all works. And, um, and my fish finder. Again, it's not just lakes, this is rivers and everything on this website. And um, these are one of the more main websites, but there's other local forums. You can get on a lot of bait shops, um, have their own forum with people uh, talking and commenting on the latest conditions and talking about discussing fishing places. And, you know, so I encourage you to get out and uh, look at your local community too, see what the local forums are, see where the people are. See where the fisher, the groups of fishermen that talk, see where they're at, and um, just join a community. That's the great, best way to uh, find new places to fish is just by talking to your fellow anglers. And again, um, you know, don't take without giving a little back. And uh, I guess that is my main message. And um, I think we're all set. I hope you learned something. Um, I'm using this uh, great software. Uh, I don't know what it's called here. A screen recorder um, so shout out to them and uh, I hope you enjoyed and um, thanks for watching the video